Hello, today we'll mainly be looking at an earthquake in Nepal and activity in the western United States. Coming over to Northern Oregon at Mount Hood, there was a magnitude negative 0.6 reported at Mount Hood today at 6 a.m. UTC. This also had a 2.6 kilometer depth. In the past 30 days, the Mount Hood area has seen 19 earthquakes reported by the USGS and the largest was a magnitude 1.1 just a few days ago. So not too much is going on over there at Mount Hood. Coming over to Mount St. Helens, there has been three earthquakes reported uh, inside the crater in the past 24 hours. One of these being a negative 0 0.2, a 0.5, and a 0.4. These happening at 0330, 0512, and 0529. Past 30 days, the crater area has seen 52 earthquakes. And then just north of Mount St. Helens along Green River, there was a magnitude 0 0.4 at 1158 UTC. That was after the three in the crater. All right, so I was able to pull up data for uh, three of these stations over here near Mount Hood. Here's one of them. You can see the data for the past 24 hours. Here's another one, we can see some more data including what uh, looks like tremor, but it's more likely a very distant earthquake being picked up. And here's the last one. Here's that same distant signal. Coming over to Mount St. Helens, I was able to pull up a few more stations on the same channel, which is the BHZ channel. Here's one here, we can see uh, quite a lot more activity being picked up at Mount St. Helens. Now some of these signals don't necessarily look like seismic. Here's another station. Actually picking up the same signals this one did. Here's one more. Today at 0803 UTC, there was a magnitude 5.6 on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge, or also just off the coast of Ascension Island. We're continuing to see upper magnitude 4 and 5 activity in China. Yesterday at 2135, there was a magnitude 5.5 in Western China, or Northern Qinghai, China. Now coming down to Nepal, or just west of Mount Everest, there was a magnitude 4.9 today at 0222 UTC. Now this does have 50 felt reports on the USGS map. Here are those uh, plotted responses. Three responses were down here in Patna. The majority of felt reports came from Kathmandu, which is the capital of Nepal. The USGS did not include a shake map solution, so we cannot see at what distances what MMIs were estimated. Taking a look at this area around Mount Everest since 1900 on the USGS catalog, we can see just south of this earthquake, in 2015, there was a magnitude 7.3. Besides this magnitude 4.9, the most recent was a magnitude 4.3 about three months ago just west of this earthquake. I was able to pull up a seismometer on the NK network station KKN. This is the BHZ channel. We can see the signature of that earthquake very clearly. There are the signature of a few more earthquakes, however they are not being listed by the USGS. Coming over to EMSC, we can see that there is another earthquake. This magnitude 4.9 was at 0922. And then just later at 10.08, there was a magnitude 4.5 just outside of Nepal, so it was technically in western uh, Zizang, but it's still in this mountain range. But this magnitude 4.5 was not on the USGS map. And we can see here on the data that other earthquake clearly coming in at 10.08. Looking back at the data, there is at least one more larger earthquake and I can count two more uh, smaller earthquakes that are not being noted by the EMSC. 
coming over to Nepal's seismic agency, we can see that magnitude at 4.5 at 10.08. And then at 09.22, they have a magnitude of 5.9 listed. That is a whole magnitude higher than both the EMSC and the USGS. Coming over to the latest Kilauea update, which was released October 19th at 09.12 a.m. Hawaii Standard Time. They do note, quote, Summit tilt meters recorded an inflationary deformation trend over the last 24 hours. Volcanic timber remains above background levels. A sulfur dioxide emission rate of approximately 1,800 tons per day was measured on September 30th, 2022. Or the more important thing to note was over the past 24 hours, Kilauea has been inflating. Coming over to the NHC, the system off of the South Mexican coast currently has a 100% chance of forming a cyclone in the next 48 hours. Their forecast notes typical tropical storm related conditions. Taking a quick look at the past three days of solar activity, the sun has been quite quiet. Thank you for checking out today's video and stay tuned for the next one.